Memories fade. I know that, especially at my age. Here are some tips and tricks toward capturing the aurora and why it seems different than your naked eye. Let me explain. Your eyes can't always pick up the low-level photons being cast through the atmosphere. Using a camera with adaptability will help you soak in what's actually happening up there. It is an age-old debate. If you can't see it with your eyes, is it actually happening? Well, here is another saying you might be familiar with. Pictures are it didn't happen. To your eye, it might just look like a white fuzzy cloud and your camera can pick up colors before your eye. It might not be moving quickly and you could ignore it if you don't have a camera to check and see what is happening. Some of you enthusiasts might want a solar eruption and whipping lights. Those are just as much the aurora borealis as a hovering big old green glow in the distance. No matter what you get to see, these could be the only ones you get to see during the night, so celebrate it. One way or another, it is a natural phenomenon. If you want to capture the northern lights, bring a camera with manual settings capable of adapting to long exposures. Use a tripod to keep your camera steady and adjust settings such as ISO, aperture and shutter speed to capture the aurora's vibrant colors and movement. If you haven't prepared your phone or camera, you know, just enjoy the moment. Witnessing this natural spectacle with your own eyes is an unforgettable moment that transcends photography. Check out my other videos to help you adjust your iPhones or Androids if you don't have a camera with long exposure capabilities. What exactly are we capturing anyways? Simply put, imagine the sun, an electron cannon with winds hurtling the electrons into our atmosphere. The electrons are funneled in the north and south poles where the Earth's electromagnetic shield is less. These electrons cap the pole and create a halo around the top and bottom of Earth and interact with the elements in our atmosphere. When the electrons join the elements, they excite them and me. With all these extra electrons, the elements need to exude this energy and they spit it out in the form of photons, light. Different elements exude different colors. Oxygen, the most common element in Earth's atmosphere, contributes to the green and red colors of the aurora. Nitrogen can emit blue or purple light. Hope this helps. Happy hunting and check out my other videos to learn how to use your cell phones, how to enjoy them, and where to see them best.